Oh, Jesus, here we go again. All right. Take notes so that we don't have to continue to repeat ourselves. In the current day and age, the way that undocumented workers pay taxes through gainful employment legally in the United States of America is by being issued something called an ITIN number. It's called an Individual Taxpayer Identification Number, I believe is what those initial stands for. Uh, stand for. Uh, this was around towards the tail end of my career, but predominantly 20, 25 years ago, the way this shit worked was uh, workers would go buy a set of documents from somebody. Usually, back in my heyday, it would cost you about $1,000 to get a set of three documents, a driver's license, a social security card, and a green card. The social security numbers were just randomly generated in a machine. Sometimes they would actually match an existing social security numbers number. Sometimes it wouldn't match anything. So that person would then go seek employment. They would fill out an application. You would bring them and go, all right, we're looking for people. We need your documentation. They would hand you these three documents that look exactly like the documents you have in your wallet. You take photocopies of them, fill out all the tax identification numbers, and send that off to the United States government while you put them to work. That's the rule. They get to start work while the government's looking over their IDs. It would take the government about three to five months, and then they would get back to us with what's called a does not match letter. And that says that the name and social security number that is on the tax forms that we sent in for this employee doesn't match anything in their system. And sometimes they would tell you, as a matter of fact, this number is actually Bob Smith from Denver, Colorado, if it happened to match somebody else. And that's where it ended. No follow-up, no enforcement. No swinging back in another month or two saying, hey, did you get rid of that guy whose social security number didn't match? Now, why is that? Because both Democrats and Republicans understand that undocumented immigrants, just through their paychecks alone, generate hundreds of billions of dollars in the form of Social Security, Medicare, Medicaid withdrawals from their check that they're never going to claim. These people don't claim unemployment for the most part. They're afraid of getting caught and being deported. They're never going to file a Social Security claim. It's free money that's flowing into the government, and neither side wants to shut that spigot off because that's how much of an economic powerhouse the undocumented uh, uh, segment of our society is. And that's not even touching the amount of sales taxes they generate on a state, county, and local level. Undocumented workers in this country from all stripes, not just from South and Central America, we're talking about people coming in from Europe that overstay their visas as well, generate hundreds of billions of dollars in tax revenue. And a lot of it comes out of legally taxable paychecks. And nobody wants to shut that off. Nobody. Because that would be a massive chunk of money gone from what's currently flowing into the coffers that they have no way of making up. 